Welcome to this edition of Future Artist Records Presents. In 1910, a Japanese art form was created that's become internationally popular. It's called anime. And today, joining me in the studio, I've got a cartoon book artist in that genre. Future Artist Records Presents, Ron Sanford. Thanks for coming in. Thank Appreciate you for it. having me. Yeah, it's great bet. to be here. Good, good. So, how did you get into drawing and how long have you been doing it? Um, I've been into drawing for a very long time. I think around four or five is when I started doodling a bit and I think got really serious into it when I was about 11, 12, 13 is when I really started to okay. do the whole cartoonish. So yeah, it's always been my been favorite. Doing it for a while. Yeah, yeah. a while. <laughs> um, what inspires you to draw? Um, definitely other artists, I believe, is probably the main. I just see a lot of other different people's art and it just inspires me and okay. the world around me of course right, definitely right. I think very much so the world around me. Do you have a particular artist that you like to follow that inspires you the most? Um, let's see on Instagram his name is Ice Cream <laughs> nice. I guess he's from Malaysia <laughs> yeah I, okay. he very much inspires me he's a lot younger than I am but I love seeing his artwork and very diverse, very colorful, and cool. similar to mine, but yet very different. Yeah. I very much enjoy his work. That's awesome. <laughs> That's cool to be working with other artists as far as, you know, kicking ideas oh, and stuff. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> so why did you choose anime? I loved anime because of the emotion behind it. The eyes, the way they hold themselves, just how they present it, how it's made. It has so much emotion in it, and I've absolutely been absolutely drawn to that. The emotion is just beautiful and breathtaking. And Okay. Now, when, when we talked about this a little bit before the show, when was the first time you were exposed to this Japanese art form? Um, pretty young. My dad used to be stationed in Japan in the military and okay. brought a lot of it back. Uh, Project Echo, Speed Racer, right. Sailor Moon, that's where we, about four or five that age is when we first saw it, so pretty young. Yeah, so, that's cool. And loved it ever since. I was always a fan of Speed Racer, yeah. so pretty cool. <laughs> um, you know, you brought some prints here, and uh, looking at them, I'm seeing that it's a different, it's not just blank drawing paper, and, and you've got some other things going on. What materials do you use, and, and how does that work? Oh, uh, let's see. Well, this is going to be a special kind of Bristol paper meant for graphic novelist and comic book artists. Okay. It's going to be 11 and a half by 17. It's a little bit bigger than printer paper. So when you get all that art in there and when you go to scan it, it's going to shrink it down into a very tight and still very um, high quality. Okay. So it's the kind of paper I use. It has the lines set up on it and yeah. it's just very easy to guide you and... And I noticed too, you've got some blue lines here behind some of the some of the sketches. Yeah, the blue lines. When you go to do the scanning process, the blue will not show up. So oh, I okay. use a, a blue colored pencil to, you know, write out and draw out what what exactly I want to say and draw. And then as soon as I do that, it'll disappear completely. So okay, you can see the before and the after on the unscanned work. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then do you use a certain kind of uh, pen and ink and pencil and stuff for this? Uh, yes, I like to use just a mechanical pencil to get that really, really detailed work in, yeah, such as yeah. the eyes. And most of the time it's going to be just the blue pencil. And then after that it's going to be micron pens, different sizes and shapes of those. Okay. Those can be found at any Hobby Lobby. And then I also like the Moo Eraser, M-O-O. -O. Okay. It's made in Korea and Japan. It's better than most erasers. It'll get rid of all that lead and all the debris and oh, wow. won't okay. leave any smudges whatsoever. It's just like... Monster just takes everything away. Oh wow, that's those are cool. the materials, yeah. And that leaves everything super clean for you. Yeah, nice and it. smooth. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Very cool. What is the process that you use to create? You know, you've got the guidelines and everything, but and you use the blue pencil. Do you have a a concept of how you want it to look first, or do you follow a storyline, or how does that work? Ah, uh, yeah, of course. Uh, for every one of these, I'm going to always start with a good script. But before the script. Um, they're called arcs of the script, so okay. I was thinking about this morning, like, uh, for example, Walking Dead, you know, you have Rick and his uh, cop partner, it starts with him in the car, goes to the speed chase, and then after that he's in the, wakes up from a coma, you know, all dead here. Oh, okay. Those are going to be arcs, okay. and they're going to go, the script is going to go into those arcs, so you have a nice, smooth timeline, is 
Then after you have that uh, script, um, then I'm gonna use uh, seven and a half by 11 just printer paper to put my thumbnails on so I'll have a okay. idea of what I want it to look like without actually getting out the big paper and making this full mistake and oh, right. yeah, sure. okay. make sure I have a lot of diversity, a lot of different angles, make sure I have it before I actually get it on the big paper. So, gotcha. so there's a lot of steps. <laughs> yeah, it's wow. quite a few steps going yeah. into this. Do you do a lot of doodling before you get to this? To this oh step? yeah, it's gonna, sometimes I have to go back, sometimes I, especially a lot have to go back if I don't see something I like. It looks oh, too right. much like this panel, you mm -hmm. know. So make sure you pay attention to that thumbnail so right, everything right. comes out smooth in the finished product. So. Do you find that you have to change a lot if suddenly in your mind the storyline changes and you have to go back and change stuff? Oh or, yeah, sometimes yeah. I realize like, oh maybe if this was one point here and this is different, I'm like, oh wait, yeah. he's wearing a different sweater here than he was here, <laughs> right. people are gonna get confused, right, so right. I have to pay attention to that, so yeah. it's a tedious process, yeah. gotta pay attention, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that that kind of leads me into the next, next question, and that is, um, you talked about arcs and panels, um, and we had spoken before the show about pages. So how long does it take to make a page? And what is a page versus a panel and, and, and these other things? Yeah, a panel is going to be within the page. It's going to be a little bit smaller. Different artists do it different ways. Okay. Mine are pretty tight and detailed. My pages are usually going to take, on the paper I use, it's going to be about three of them in the section. Some people will use the whole paper and that'll be their page. Okay. I use, uh, th uh, put it into three segments and these segments will usually take about a day. Oh, wow. Yeah, if I really hustle my bustle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and if I don't have work that day, then. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, then it'll take about a day. Okay. I'm getting really quick there, so I'm proud of that. But yeah. Well, I'm work, sure the more you yeah. do it, the quicker you get. Right? Yep, I'm yeah. getting really quick just pumping it out. Yeah. That's good. So about a day with, with work and about maybe about half a day, but. Okay. Yeah, getting faster at that, so. Yeah. Wow, that's impressive. <laughs> yeah, thank um, you. So. When you're doing all of these things, you're doing everything in pencil, you're doing everything in ink, do you ever do anything outside of scanning to put on Instagram? Uh, do you ever do anything with digital? Um, I try to stay away from digital, like uh, Stan Lee, Jack Kirby, um, Osomu, some of the greats, they, mm -hmm. they didn't have the digital stuff back in the 50s and yeah. 60s, so I try to stay very true to that. I've seen amazing stuff done with digital art, maybe someday but I right. just try to stay very true to the, you know, I want it to be extension of my arm, my wrist, my fingers. Right. So. Right. And that probably makes your stuff stand out from a lot of other people's yeah. stuff because, because everything's gone so digital. Yeah, I love digital, but I just have this thing in my heart. I'm like, it has to be from me. Yeah. Besides the words that I put on the actual paper, everything is gonna be done by hand. <laughs> I try uh, to stay away cool. from digital. That's cool. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's very impressive, very impressive. So having said that, and you know, I follow you on Instagram, I see your stuff going on there. Do you have any followers or fans that have wanted to print or want to collect your art in physical form? Um, I've had a few. It's kind of hard to do physical form, but yeah. yeah, but most of the time I'm gonna offer them digital. And if they wanted a physical, you know, I'd be fine with that. You know, I'd actually have to mail it to them. Right, right. Yeah, most of them are fine with digital. Okay. But yeah. If, they wanted physical, I suppose I wouldn't have any problem doing yeah. it for them, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, speaking of that, speaking about collecting and collectability and all of that things, you've brought these prints in, and we're doing something special um, with this program where anyone who's watched this show and has followed your artwork and really enjoys what you're doing, we're going to uh, have, a, have a deal where we're going to have more details later, but we're going to give one of these prints to one of your fans. Yes. <laughs> and so let's take a look at some of these prints and talk about them for a second. Um, this is gonna be the print that we'll be giving away that a fan can win. So why don't you talk a little bit about what this print is, where it's from. And... Yeah, this is gonna be one of my first ones. This was almost two, three years ago. It's pretty old. Okay. You can see the blue uh, colored pencils, the outline. Mm -hmm. So in the actual book that's online on my Instagram right now, you will it'll be all black and white. And okay. This is just the first uh, one of the uh, main characters coming out. You know, he's sacrificing himself to save his friends. All the zombies are here. Come and get it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. One of my favorite. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. So this is, folks. This is going to be one of them that we um, are going to be giving away, and we'll we'll have more details on that later in the show here. 
Here's another one. It's a bigger one and it's in color. So we wanted to show kind of the difference between the two. Talk a little bit about this one. Yeah, this one is all going to be in colored pencil. I absolutely love colored pencil. Okay. And this is going to be the group of the female characters, I, most of the female characters. And this was actually made about three years ago, I think, 2014, I believe it says. Okay. Yeah. So they're all subject, subject to change. They have actually changed a little, but... Right. Pretty, Going back to that, seeing yeah. things. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, but, so this is all going to be one of the first ones. It's kind of be similar to my covers. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So. so, so the bigger ones you use for covers, and the smaller ones actually yeah. end up being part of the part of the yeah, book. So okay. the, yeah. So these are going to be the only ones that I'm going to do in color. I okay. very much like the black and white, but the covers are going to be in color. Gotcha. So. Okay. Very cool. This art is really, really interesting. <laughs> Thank you. It's really good. You've got some good stuff <laughs> here. So, fans, for any of you who want to collect, would like to have that print in your collection, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. We're going to be giving details later on on how you can enter to win that print. Um, so if you'd like to add that to your collection, make sure you follow us on that and we'll be giving you more at the end of the show about that. Um, you're currently, you know, we talked about some of your characters here, you're currently working on a graphic novel. Um, we spoke a little bit before the show about the differences between graphic novels, mm -hmm. comic books, those types of things. Um, what is a graphic novel? A graphic novel is like a very long comic book, so okay. going to have a bit more of a plot and a story going on. Okay. It's not just like the morning Sunday comics, you know. Right, right. It's right. the quick little, oh, yeah, but right. it's going to be a long, drawn-out story. So, okay. Yeah, very much longer. Okay, cool. <laughs> I think it would be the biggest difference. Um, what is the theme and the plot of your current work, which is a graphic novel? Uh, yeah, it's going to be a zombie apocalypse um, kind of work. Okay. I'm very into Resident Evil and Silent Hills, so instead of just okay. the generic zombie, I'm actually having them turn and mutate into these horrid creatures at some okay. point because I love drawing monsters. Right, okay. Yeah, so it's going to be a little bit different than your generic zombie and a group of survivors and their connection to each other. Oh, interesting. Okay. I had a lot of fun working on it and yeah. Just... Yeah, you've got some interesting stuff, so it's very, very cool. <laughs> um, in these works, um, because you're dealing with zombies and, and whatnot, <laughs> um, do you have a, a recommended age restriction because uh, of some yeah. of the images you have? Yeah, it's also going to be for a lot. Um, I put an 18 plus on my, because there's going to be sex, sex or sexual themes, okay. violence and um, drug and alcohol use. So it's going to okay. be for an older audience. So yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so you I, get into some heavy stuff. Yeah, yeah. some pretty heavy stuff. You okay. know, it's going to be an adult novel, gotcha. <laughs> despite okay. how cutesy it kind of looks. Right, times. right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever thought about doing other other storylines and stuff, or do you pretty much stick with this this topic? Um, well, I'm really passionate about this topic. Mm -hmm. I have a few on the back burner. Okay. Like this one is, I think I want to do 10 books. I have just uh, cracked the surface on book number five last wow. week, so about wow. halfway through the project. It's been about five years, about wow. a book per year, so. Wow. And I'm, yeah, putting, uh, putting together scripts on the side, you know, for other stuff as soon as this is done. But, right, right. Yeah, and yeah. it's going, going all right. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that, that's a lot of work. It is a lot of work, um, yeah. But it looks great, so yeah. there you go, you know. Um, so you just answered my next question here, which is how, <laughs> uh, how far along are you, is your current oh, work? Do you have a deadline that you do these things on, or is it pretty much just kind of as it happens, it happens? Um, I've tried to been doing a, about a book per year. They're about okay. a... 175 to 200 pages, kind of, you know, decent amount of content. So about every year, that's usually when I see the big books like Harry Potter yeah. and stuff, you know, every year. So I've been trying to keep up with that. So okay. it's been going good so far. Yeah. So. Now, when you release these, you release them one page at a time on Instagram. Do you ever release, here's volume one in digital format or anything as a, as a one-off or you just do a kind of a page at a time? Um, let's see, so I usually release on Instagram just uh, a picture of the panel, but usually no words. Sometimes okay. I'll include the words so people be like, you know, what's going on here? Right. So they can get yeah. in there and read it themselves. But usually it's just going to be the entirety of the book. Yeah, but sometimes little segments so people can have a kind of a sneak peek of what's going on, but okay. not too many spoilers. I try so, not so to. So where can people see the entirety and, and read through it? 
All right, on my Instagram, it is going to be Tommy the Imp, one word, and the link in my bio is going to go right to my website, Tommy oh, the Imp. Okay. And it's going to be the Dead Planet Rising series, and it's going to have book one and two out, and the third one will be released in April. So, oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. <laughs> very, very cool. Um, so you also answered my other question, which yeah, that was good. You nailed like four questions in one answer. Um, so what, what types of other projects are you working on or have you thought about working on? Um, let's see, probably uh, I just have so many in my mind. I have yeah. one about, you know, detectives. I really like the, you know, Silence of the Lambs, the, right. the thriller behind that. So I have a... One I've been writing the script for for a few years about two detectives and they're after this madman and he's just this crazy artist, you know, he leaves these horrid murder scenes around the city and he calls them art and it's these two oh, detectives who, you know, they're trying very hard but they also have, you know, different cases on the side and they're, it's going to take place during the late 40s, so. Okay. that was going to be yeah. my next question. Cool. Yeah. Very cool. So you kind of like that. 40s, 50s, gangster Yeah, I love look. that, yeah. Okay. So it's going to be kind of like the film noir, just kind of, yeah. still kind of adult themes. So. Sure, sure. Yeah. I, I had seen, <coughs> excuse me, seen one of your prints that looked like it had the Millennium Falcon in it. Ah, uh, yes. Do you do some space stuff as well? Um... Or do you just, is that one of your doodles kind of? Yeah, okay. actually, uh, it was supposed to be an, actually an ominous sign to the character. I was actually going to oh, do the, okay. um... Darth Vader's, uh, oh yeah, his. the Death Star, but I, it was a lot harder to draw than the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> so that's wow. And the Millennium, I was yeah. looking at that going, wow, that that couldn't have been easy to draw. Yeah, it actually, it's the biggest part of that uh, that image. I'm like, you know, he's kind of a little nerd, kind of not the most social kid. So I thought, yeah. you know, add some Star Wars references in there because I absolutely oh, love it. Gotcha. You know, okay. a few yeah. Star Trek, a few of the older animes referenced in there. Oh, cool. Yeah, so. That's cool. Yeah. Kind, of a, kind of a tribute back to those. Yep. That's cool. <laughs> to the older stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very cool. Well, I would love to have you back and dig into a little bit more of the details of how the genre works and you know, the technology behind it and your approach to creating something that's this amazing. But uh, thanks for coming in today and, and sharing some of this. Oh, yes. And um, hopefully, you know, that you can gain some more fans getting this oh, giveaway yeah, and so. stuff. Yeah, yeah, because this is good stuff. We want people to see this. Folks, please support Ron and her <laughs> art. Follow her on Instagram. Go visit her website. Visit her Patreon page. Help her out. Support her on there. Um, and that's where we're going to be doing the giveaway is through your Patreon page. And make sure you like, you share, you comment, you subscribe to this program, show your support for these arts. And also, don't forget, follow us on Facebook and Instagram to get those details <laughs> about this giveaway so you can add this print to your collection. I'm Michael Hartsock. Thanks for watching Future Artist Records Presents.